urge leaders to come up with clear manifestos, achievements that will make Kenya a better country. Speaking in Kajaro, the deputy president asked presidential aspirants to commit to upholding peaceful campaigns and elections. The deputy president was in Kajado East, Kajado County for a church service. Here, the issue of 2022 election resurfaced. Leaders accompanying the deputy president revisiting the recent call by the president that Kenyans should not elect thieves. The MPs at the same time said UDA was the party of choice, urging those yet to board to do so before it was late. Declare that when inshallah when william ruto beats him in 2022 he will accept defeat deputy president william ruto urged leaders to come out with clear manifestos achievements and plans that will make kenya better wale wote wanatafuta kiti ya rais wanajulikana na sio wageni kwa kenya sina namna hiyo so kila mmoja wetu Akuja na mambo tatu ndio ikuwe rais number 1 jipange na agenda na plan kama hii yetu ya bottom up he challenged leaders to stop politics of hate and division it will never happen again we made a pledge to ourselves and before god that kenya shall be peaceful and kenya shall be united Meanwhile, a section of leaders allied to former Prime Minister Raila Odinga now say Deputy President William Ruto has nothing new to offer Kenyans. He's been in government for nine years. Nine years. In fact, he was running government most of the time. If he cannot do anything for this country when he is in government, what can he do for this country? Our opinion that with the time left, as we want to focus on capturing the presidency of the Republic of Kenya next year, 2022. And after that, we can then now revive all the good things that were in the BBI. In Mombasa, Vita Member of Parliament Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir has dismissed assertions that he is a project of some politicians and businessmen in Mombasa. Usisi tunaamini siyasa si vita, siyasa ni sera. Siyasa si matusi, siyasa si kejeli. Nasir is eyeing the Mombasa governorship in the 2022 general election.